Welcome back to Kentucky Mountain Vlogs. Today, you might think, why are you sitting in a chair and why are you holding a giant treble hook in your fingers? Well, I want to answer that right now. Right now, I'm sitting in a chair because I'm getting ready to make a staff and turtle jug. I got my paracord right here, which is caught under my tripod, and I have a giant treble hook. But there is a snapping turtle in the creek, and it's eat, it's like scared all the minners down to one side. And I was down there fishing, and it, I seen its head pop up out, out of the water, and I got it on GoPro footage, but I don't think you can see it because you know that pipe that I fished at? It was in that. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to take this gigantic treble hook, it'll focus, right here that treble hook and I will put that on some paracord right here and uh, I figured instead of just throwing it out there I'll make a whole video about it so I'm going to set this treble hook right on my tripe on my camera strap get the paracord I knot it it really got knotted up Trying to figure out a better way to roll up paracord and not get it knotted up. And this is not the same paracord I have on my minor trap. Because that one, I didn't have this paracord when I was fixing the minor trap. So let's see. I just get about, I want to go down the pipe, so let's see, that's about two, we'll do three. Three. And uh, yeah. so about this much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife. See, just got a fresh blade because the other one was completely dull and rusty. Like I couldn't even cut. I, I was trying to cut a zip tie earlier and I couldn't even cut it. So I had to get a new blade. And that's what's good with these little razor blades because if you need a new blade, you just lift this up this pull the blade out you can buy new blades they're like you probably find five bucks walmart or any store that sells them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this uh, like that see we're just gonna cut them ends in half we're just gonna cut these things in half and we take my wad up mess of paracord that's gone. Roll this up. I don't know what this is. It was there when I got it. I'll probably just either, I'll probably just leave it because I'll probably be ended up cutting this much off anyway for a turtle. So, um, yeah. But if you've seen the other Snap and Turtle jug videos and you're just tuning in this one because you liked it, we actually caught a snapping turtle, it's just, it was raining, and we were walking on like this hill right, not this exact hill, but a hill like this one, like, very steep, and there was trees and bars, and I couldn't really get this camera out because it was like slick, and I didn't really want to show what happened, so. If you ever were wondering what happened to the snapping turtle videos, we caught one, and that was it. There was only one turtle in that giant pond, but now, this is, I'm just doing this because it's focusing on my face. Yeah, you can't see it, but that's the trouble hook earlier. So, this has been used before. So I'm going to just try to focus it on this. That went my finger. Let's see if I can change this. Mosquito, I don't like mosquitoes, but, but what I'm going to do, oh, there's a hummingbird right there. I can't really turn the camera because I'll scare it and I can't really zoom it, but it's perched. It just flew away. But what I'm gonna do, if I don't get eat up by mosquitoes, is I'm gonna try to thread this on. Hey, it focused. No, nope, I know what I'm gonna do. Set that hook down. Pull out about that much. Pull out your little knife right here, even though it didn't open, didn't lock. I'll pull it out about that far, right about there. You're just gonna go like that. Okay, 
cut out the inside strands of paracord. So I'm using the screen up here to see how to tie it on. No, no more hummingbirds. But ah, that little bar went in my finger and it does not feel great. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this little hole right here, this paracord in it. So I'm gonna set the hook right on top of the camera and start messing with this paracord. What I'm doing is I'm folding it over and rolling it up. Ah, mosquito. Folding it up, rolling it. I know you can't see it on camera, but I rolled it up. Trust me, I rolled it up. <sighs> that went my finger again. Yep. If I can hold on to this hook, I can get it in there. Okay, now, I, I seem to not be able to get this in there. So, I don't know what to do now. And I got an idea if this don't work, but I'm just threading it in like this. I hate mosquitoes so bad. So I'm just gonna hook that there, do my first plan that I had pick off the chunks of mosquito <sighs> there's mosquitoes everywhere and I know this is getting seven minutes time this is re really going fast I thought I'd be out here for two minutes probably and then go set it what I'm doing is I am I'm not just fill. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to tie this together. I just kind of got it. Yeah. Got it. Kind of. I'm going to. Ah! I'm going to thread it through this hole. Almost got that mosquito. That one was lucky. I'm gonna turn this camera down so you can actually see what I'm doing. So, yeah. So I've got my paracord. Probably should have some pliers, needle nose pliers, but that don't work. Well, it probably will work. But I just got it. So why would I go get pliers if I just got it? Okay, now. Let's go up. Hummingbird. Let's see. Uh, yeah, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Try not to get hooked. Ah, mosquitoes are just everywhere. And I'm going to scoot this little hook down. There's another hummingbird down that way. Then I'm just going to tie a knot in it. Going to tie a simple knot. Don't have to be no giant complicated knot. Just enough to hold your hook from sliding off from a snap turtle biting it. So I'm just going to tighten it like that. My hook's right here, so I'm going to just slide it down like that. Wipe the mosquito off my arm, and that's pretty much what you're going to have. But what you're going to have is it with. A bunch of paracord on it but I can reuse this this could be my snapping turtle jugging or minor trap and what I'll probably do is once I catch this turtle is I'll probably just add this to my minor trap because the other day I was trying to throw it in a different spot and I could not get to it because I was holding it through it and it fell out of my hand and it hit the it just fell in the water I was able to get it still got the minor trap but there's my hook so I'm gonna find a jug put on this about right here so I have about that much line probably want to tie it to this knot right here so yeah that's about three foot three and a half foot put a big chunk of meat on here and then you have snap turtle jug but I don't want the dog to get this or 
Wait, chickens are up. I don't want the dog to get this or anybody walk by and step on it. So I'm gonna hook this right to my camera right there and I'm gonna get some meat. Find a jug, head down. Okay, I got my chunk of meat. I got my hook off my camera. Chunk of meat, hook, and we're just gonna do it this way. I was just gonna use a minner, but I'm not. But we do have to worry about them eating them. I'll make sure my thumb doesn't get hooked pushing through this meat. Because this meat could just slip. I don't have a jug yet. I'm still thinking. I think I might just use like a water bottle. But we're pulling it like we used last time. So we're going to have that right there. On like 10 foot of paracord. Maybe more than that. But that's going to be that. What's going to happen is Snap Turtle's going to go, Ooh, chicken. It's going to bite it. It's going to get these hooks in it. Because why I'm trying to catch it is because it keeps on eating the minners. And you don't want that eating your minners. Because then if you eat, then if it eats all the minners, then there will be no minners. So if you want to go fishing or them to, like, if you throw, if there's a snake that somebody kills and throws in there, it'll just sit there and rot. Or the minners will eat it. But I'm going to find a jug or noodle or something. That hummingbird's back. Something. Put this piece of chicken on it. Attach it about right about here where my hand is. Or just take a whole bunch of water bottles, tie them together like right here. That'll probably be what I do though. But I'd like it about right here. So I'll probably just tie a bunch of water bottles together. Take it. Throw it. Tie it to the... Tie it to the height where I normally put my minor trap. Then, hopefully, there's going to be a turtle later in the morning. Because the turtle will eat everything in the creek if it hasn't already. But I just checked it. And there is no. There's a ton of minors in there. Right now, go hit the like button. Like, like this. Like, hurry. I'll give you about 10 seconds. Hit the like button. Give this a thumbs up. I just put bug spray on that, covered in bugs. Yeah, that don't work. Okay, so that's it. So, that's that. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this a whole bunch of times. See, I'm gonna do this a whole bunch of times. So, I'm gonna go find a whole bunch. I'm gonna go find some more of these water bottles because this is the kind of water bottles we got. Okay, I got my water bottles. I was gonna think. I was thinking I might just poke a hole with my knife through it. Okay, this is why I'm talking about mosquitoes. See that red spot? That was where I just killed a mosquito like five minutes ago, maybe less than that. Plus, I got some all over my neck. See? No, that's just yeah, it's just nothing. And there's a hummingbird, which is cool to see because there's hummingbirds right there. So I'm gonna take these, tie them together. These water bottles, because the thing. Oh. What it's supposed to be like is like a bobber for your fishing pole. When the thing tutter, tugs it down, it, the turtle goes like that, eats it. It's supposed to like set the hook. So it's like a giant bobber, but if the bobber was, I don't know. I've never. That'll have. That'll probably be a test. to test. Do bobbers set hooks, or do they just alert you to fish? I don't know. I'm gonna turn this camera down so you can see me try to try to put these on. Nope. I think I'm gonna have to go with the first thing. Ah, mosquito, how could they bite through my jeans? And this is what I think I'd want to have to do. I just noticed that. Put it and screw it. Screw the lid on. 
so I'm gonna put it like that. I don't know why I did not just think of that. And that holds pretty decent. Actually holds better than I thought. You just have to test this. It's my only this is my second time snapping turtle jugging, so first time I got on video. Second time is right now. If you're trying to figure out how to snap a turtle jug and you've made it this far and or you've just skipped ahead, still I'm still learning to, but this should be a good way. This isn't my profession. No, actually, technically, it is. Technically, making these videos and is as part of Snap and Turtle Jugging. So I'm a professional. What I'm doing is I'm just wrapping it around and then screwing the lid on. Like this. I already got three on. There's seven strands of paracord, so I should be able to get this other one on. There's only four bottles. Now I'll put one or two on. So what I'm doing is I'm just wrapping this around it. Just gonna do the old screw on cat. Tighten everything down. And there. There's your snapping turtle jug and equipment right here. See? This is it. Like I, I showed earlier. This is all it is. A hook with meat and a bunch of bottles. That's a bobber or something. So, I'm going to head down to the creek and try to throw this in. Okay, so now I'm walking down the hill. I even brought the tripod. I don't. I didn't feel like taking. I have to unscrew it, and also I figured I'd need it, so I brought the tripod, and that's why I'm holding it on. I'm holding it like a glide cam or something, so this should be a little steadier than running down a hill. But I got my hook, water bottles, and hopefully we catch a turtle. Like seriously, I hope we do. So we're back here to the creek, but you can see what I'm talking about. See all the minners down there? Here. Make sure there ain't no snakes. I'm really not in a great position right now. Hold this. Getting eaten by mosquitoes. Holding the tripod. But look. All there's minners all over here. They're right about there. And there's a snapping turtle in the end of the pipes. Let's see, this is a good shot. I'd like to know myself. I figure out how to it... tie it This is way too long. I'm gonna do this right here. And that. Yeah, this works, so I built me a little raft with a chicken hook. Chicken hook. Don't worry, I just found this in the middle of a this was not used, being used. I just found it laying over here. Are you, whoa! I don't know what that was. I know it was on camera. Though.
steps it is going to take to get these piece of meat down there. What? I see him. I see him. So, I don't know. I'm going to pull this rope, run, and go. I think I threw my meat off. I don't care. This should work. So I'm gonna tie this. I think I can be right there. I don't worry about it. Oh, oh that looks like a snake right there. I'm gonna do like what I do with snare traps. This thing can break steel with 550 pound paracord. This is one giant turtle. Ah, stupid. Okay. That kind of looks like a snake. That's probably why it's called rattlesnake camouflage. But, I hear a squirrel or a bird or something. There's the bottles. And, right about there's where I seen the turtle. Here, look. All these minners normally aren't down here. So they're all curled up right underneath that string. And my foot just went in the water. But they're all down there. So, there's the trap. No, actually, it's not a trap. It's more of a snap turtle bottle jug thing. See, all of them are down here. Way more than normal. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up to the house. Because I really don't need to be. I don't know why I'm, I'm just checking to see how big that mosquito bite got. So. Awesome happens. Hopefully we catch something. Comment below if you think we'll catch something. Also, awesome happens. Tune in next time because there might be a part two coming about if we catch something. So.